My name's Brad Nesek, I'm the playwright of Storm Shelter. These stories um, uh, the, of these people's lives and their experience with illness and what it's taken from them uh, is um, profound. I'm not so clear, like a tingly fog. Have you ever tried these pills? No. You should. What? If you have to ask, you don't understand, then. So in 2017, I started as the first visiting artist researcher at the Center for Addiction and Mental Health in Toronto as part of my uh, doctoral studies in psychiatry at the University of Alberta. It was a really, really emotional time being there because I live with bipolar disorder, so it was the first time that I actually got to experience it uh, from the outside. Alberta, can you tell me a bit about what you were doing before you got sick? And, uh, and see what these altered states uh, can look like. And so we spent time while I was there for 10 days uh, just making art together. When I came back uh, from Toronto, a few weeks later, I went manic and it was the worst episode of my life. And it was just this really interesting time where I just so badly wanted to be with these people that uh, I was with on their illness journey, on their recovery journey. At that time, I was making lots of paintings, uh, something I don't regularly do, and uh, uh, was writing a lot, so I was writing a lot of field notes. What was interesting is that all of the, the stories started to bleed together, the patient stories that I was with, my stories, and I started coming up with just the basic framework of what this would be, these small vignettes that are about just a doctor and a patient. It became a uh, storm shelter. So this tall chair is standing in for a nightstand, which we're hoping will have a couple of drawers and we'll keep some notebooks she uses in the show, maybe a little cubby in the bottom that she can uh, store things in. There's a couple scenes where she's tearing up at the room looking for photos of her children. In interest of making sure that the actors are prepared, and that we can conceptualize what it will be like to enter the space. It's the idea of finding some way for us to get that feeling of closeness and intimacy, the claustrophobic nature, not being able to go anywhere. But that's not, also, that's not in itself a fully bad thing either. So it's exploring the different qualities of the space. When I began writing, uh, it really was, was me having a conversation with my psychiatrist, or at least the you know, ideal conversation that I'd want to have, something that the healthcare system doesn't uh, let you have. You know, you go in, you know, they ask you the same four questions. You know, how's your mood? How are your pills? Are you thinking about killing yourself? And uh, how would you do that? It's really exhausting to go through basically an hour of someone else's trauma. Uh, every time you go through the show. And it's, it's a lot of highs, it's a lot of really low lows. Um, so to be able to go there is a gift, but also draining and tough. Rewarding, but good. What are you looking for? Things! What are you doing? I'm here to see you for your appointment. Oh, fuck you, man, there are no appointments. There's no time in here. I hope it's honest. I hope it's, um, you know, being, truthful to their stories and to how it impacts me. I do research and I work with a lot of people that are deeply invested in this system that I'm, it's difficult to be critical of, something that they feel intensely passionate about. You know, I wish that we could talk about some of the other important factors that go into the experience of illness and specifically living with an illness for the rest of your life. When you go in and you just have these conversations, you don't really, you know, you just get a prescription refill and it's just a real uh, difficult thing to go through alone. In certain other chronic illnesses, you uh, maybe get a little help and guidance and insight into uh, how to navigate that throughout your life. And I think when it comes to mental health, something that is mental health, which is specifically so tied to, you know, your psychological well-being, your social well-being, that, uh, you know, it's just, it's, it's an opportunity being missed right now.